Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my exact siding pattern with pendulums, what to side out against all the top five meta decks, and what to put in, and what to take out, and what to kill with, baby! The pen best deck, I know it, you know it, my cat knows it. She's gonna be uh, reading the comments with me later, so everyone say hi Mia in the comments, okay? Hey, you're famous Mia, you're famous, you should say hi. You're like a celebrity. Everyone say hi to me in the comments. Anyways, today's video, as I said, is gonna be a banger, boys. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and discuss my side deck, how to side deck, and how to kill the exact meta of this format. So if you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button, baby! Oh, it's a $40 subscribers. So with that being said, let's get started, boys. Let's get started on the best deck, Pendulum. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what to side out of my entire pendulum deck which you guys if you haven't seen the deck profile already check it out it'll be in the first link down below i just posted it two days ago so check it out and stay tuned to the end of this video where you guys can see the exact siding patterns that i use for this best deck to destroy the meta and more importantly than all of that let's go baby make sure to get the best play right in the game baby only 30 usd christmas sale get it now on tripgaming.com in the description down below let's go so now i'm going to showcase you guys my side deck and the specific reason why i play these cards and there's 15 card side deck and then after i'm done the 15 card side deck i'm going to showcase you guys 20 alternatives some budget alternatives some just general alternatives that you guys could substitute if you guys don't want to play my 15 card side deck list before beginning this video i do highly recommend watching the video i already posted on my updated pendulum list you guys can get a better idea of what you need uh, and of my under my reasoning behind why you're playing arch centric why you're playing mythical beast there's specific reasoning behind all these cards and the side deck might not make sense if you don't understand them so go watch that first i'm going to put it in the description below but for all the people that have watched it i'm going to begin right now on the side deck and the extra side deck and after done both of those i'll then discuss what you take in and what you take out of the already list that we have anyway let's get started against uh drytron there's a Droll and Lockbird single-handedly ends their turn. They have no way around it unless they hard draw the Herald Orange Light. That's not going to happen for them all the time. It's only a three of. And yes, sometimes they could bent and search and Herald and Resolution. But it's not going to happen very often. So you could just do this a lot and to defeat them. Another card that auto-defeats them is Dark Ruler. So these right here are six side deck cards, okay? The main deck, you got to have a strategy, okay? Your main deck cannot defeat every deck. Despite the fact of Pendulum being the best deck, you cannot have any main deck defeat such a vast... Like, if the meta only had three decks, okay, your main deck could defeat all three decks. But this meta has, like, ten good decks. So, you can't have your main deck to defeat all of them. So, the strategy against Drytron is to let them win game one. They're going to side stuff assuming they're playing other random decks. Like, they'll play their... Like, they'll, they'll side in hand traps that don't affect you. Ghost Spell, Skullmeister... All these random cards that don't affect you. Then when you go, you FTK them. Game 3 comes around. This is only if they go first. Because if you go first, you FTK them by a board of 10 negates. So once you know you're basing Drytron, you put these in and you auto win. And not just these 6, but also 2 Mystic Mind. When you combine these 8 cards with the Terraforming, that's 9 cards. Also, sometimes they end on the Herald Link 2. And that's fine. Because if they end on the Herald Link 2, all you do is you normal summon any monster over 600 attack which is like half your deck, you crash into the Herald Link 2, let them add whatever the hell they want, and then you can just freely play after that. Uh, so you're good. You can also go Mystic Mind. Uh, Mystic Mind uh, you could use Desires or Knowledge. Uh, draw cards, Mastery. They'll end up negating one of them. Uh, and then you go Mystic Mind in the scale. So Mystic Mind is also good for that. And they don't always end in the Herald Link 2. Combined with the Terraforming in your main deck, you have nine cards against them. Draw one, and you auto win. I don't want to play more because you play 10 draw cards. So your 10 draw cards, you're going to see all these cards plenty of times. So those are cards you want to play over there. The other, those eight cards in the deck, Mystic Mind also works against so much stuff in the specific meta. You can play Mystic Mind against random stuff like you can play it against Dino, it destroys them. Invoke Dogma destroys them. Rogue destroys them. And it's just such a good card because it saves you a lot of turns. Next, everyone can play a draw because so you got to play ways to stop it. So your only way to stop Droll uh, in my deck would be Instant Fusion and Called By. So you have two ways to stop the Droll, and you have 10 draw cards. So either whatever you draw first, 
you whatever draw card you use first if you draw one of these with a draw card you can stop droll with it uh because if you drew it drew it as like with an upstart and they use droll after upstart resolution called by their ass instant fusion you can't but called by you could but two ways to stop the droll then you have uh against virtual worlds it's very easy to defeat them you main deck eight msts already because of cerberus garuda abductor eccentric so you just play two more with cosmic cyclone and it guarantees to out the board uh you don't have to worry about the vft all you got to do is stop the trap card once you stop the trap card you go into mighty master turbo and you blow up their entire board of mighty master because all your mythical beasts do not activate the hold counters hence when your opponent activates vfd then you don't care whatsoever because you're you just mighty master his ass and you have 10 ways to pop the trap card which is the only way they could win if they use trap card on the mighty master uh, against random Eldritch decks, you use the Cosmic and the Reboot. Then I also play one Dino Wrestler Prankatops. You use Prankatops against Zodiac, uh, and, and one card kills them. Like, it gets rid of a Cosmic and the Dryden. Then you put up five Negates, and you can use it against anything. So you use these four of his Trap decks. You already have eight MSTs built into the deck, so you don't need to play Father Duster 2. Reboot has other other reasons. If you Father Duster sometimes against Eldritch, they could have just one Conquistador, one Scarlet, and Hand Traps. Reboot just ensures they don't get that plus. I mean... You're going to OTK them that turn anyways. And then lastly, going first, you were playing two secret villages. Along with the turret warming in the main deck, going first, you just have one jack of one village. That's an FTK versus like every deck in the format right now. Anyways, that's a side deck that I have. I'll discuss now exactly what you take out. It's built in specifically to complement the Archfiend Eccentric in the main deck, which is searchable by Abductor, which is huge in this format. If your opponent could, doesn't have access to Herald, uh, you could use Eccentric to pop the Vanity. Usually they do. But it just ensures that you win. And just not even in the main deck. I don't. I don't even I don't even think eccentric is an, eccentric is not enough to win. But I need ruler in the main deck. It's just there for the VFT pop, and it's very good this format regardless. So I'm not gonna also discuss the extra side deck that I have. This extra side deck is cards that I think are also good enough to be in the side deck, but I opted not to put it in. So it'll be three gamma and driver for dual purpose of uh, playing hand traps on the side deck to stop drytron and VFT from even being made. And also, dual purpose of stopping uh, Droll and Lockbird and Ash Blossom. So, since your whole deck has so many stuff that search and draw, you could Gamma Driver them. In doing so, I would recommend playing an Omega, because they don't really do much for you. Uh, they don't make Crowley, they don't make Needle Fiber, unless you want to play Needle Fiber targets in your deck. So, that's good. Also, if I were to play Gamma, I'd also recommend playing more Hand Traps. Lance, if you Lancia, if you, uh, if you Lancia on the standby phase of virtual world it's very very tough for them to go vfd with lancia because they can't ching long they can't desires it's just very tough for them they can't use the trap card it's very tough for them to do that and the trap card is dead also on your turn so lancia is very good for that reason uh another good card if you're gonna play hand traps play double ash and double meister if you're playing at pendulums you don't want to have dead cards in your hand so meister it works as like four ash blossoms because you can use meister on so many drytron vfds ching long so many random stuff. So if you were to play hand traps, this is the extra side deck. I'm not using this. I'm just using the side deck as alternatives for you guys if you want. So these are my alternatives as well. If you want to play a hand trap lineup, you can put these in with the Droll and Lockbirds. And you like your, your opponent is not doing anything. I also have the third Mystic Mind if you really like it. Another good, cool meta call is Denko. Uh, you use this against so many trap decks right now and kills them. If they go uh, Dragoon and trap decks, it still kills them. Because then all you got to deal with is one Dragoon. Uh, the only issue I have with Denko not being in the main deck, or sorry, in the in the main side deck, is that if you use this against Eldritch, there's a high chance of playing Zodiac Eldritch, so they get a Dryden pop. Hence, I'm not a fan of Denko for that reason, but if that loses uh, popularity, Zoo Eldritch, Denko could be very good. And then lastly, our classic, our favorite, Restage with right hand or left hand. Uh, if Trap decks see a lot of play, uh, this is very good, and this is also very good for stuff, but I wouldn't re recommend it in the main deck. Because in the main deck, too many people are playing Skullmeister, DD Coro, Ghost Spell. All this stuff hurts this strategy. And uh, I don't want, I, I prefer the graveyard not be, even be touched by my opponent's cards. If I play this engine, I'd also play Soyuzha in the extra deck. Anyways, so that's the side deck and the extra alternatives I showed you guys. Now I'm going to go back to the original video, original sc uh, uh, screen where you guys see in my deck. And I'm going to show you guys what exactly we need to take out here in the actual side deck we're playing into the main deck and for what matchup and how are you gonna take them out in and out let's go now it's time to show you guys the exact cards i side out and the exact cards i side in against specific meta decks this format so first and foremost we are going to start with drytron so for drytron when you're going second okay you want to put in three droll and lockbirds three dark rulers two mystic minds in conjunction with the terraforming and archfiend eccentric 
and Magical Abductor that's already in the deck that searches these cards. Uh, uh, Abductor searching Archfiend and Sentry going second. Uh, or Terraforming to search the Mystic Mine, obviously. You want to put all these in. But in the side deck, this is eight cards that you need to side in. So, what eight cards do you take out? First and foremost, uh, you want to keep all draw cards in. Going second, going first. All draw cards draw into your side deck cards. So, side decks, you're playing a 40-card deck with 10 draw cards. In conjunction with the two Blue Boys and the, and the two Magician Souls proxies over here, that's 12 draw cards. That's an insane number. So, going second, you want to think, okay... What do I not need here? Going second, I do not need the Citadels, okay? They're just a field spell not named Mystic Mine. So you're going to remove the two Citadels in your deck for two Mystic Mines. The Mystic Mine is searchable via Terraforming. So now you play three Mystic Mines. Your opponent is going to be forced to negate some draw two cards. Uh, so your Mystic Mine can resolve a lot easier. And they're not always going to end on Herald Link. Another cool play is you could always normal summon... You could use Abductor, search Archfiend Eccentric, normal summon Archfiend Eccentric, uh, enter Battle Phase... Battle phase, Archfiend Eccentric, uh, destroy Hero Link. Let him search whatever he wants from your graveyard. It doesn't fucking matter. Enter battle, uh, then main phase two. Main phase two, activate Mystic Mine and auto win. So, uh, Eccentric's mandatory as is the mine against this deck. It's very it's literally an auto win card against them. Anyways, three ruler, three dark ruler. We still need to put these cards in. Well, I would recommend I'll take out a Garuda going second against Drytron. It does nothing against Drytron going second. Uh, Instant Fusion is a solid card to take out going second against Drytron. If they have Droll plus all their board, then honestly, they deserve it. You shouldn't, like, of course, it'll be great to play through all of that, but sometimes you just can't. So I would take these out. I would get, I'll take out one Magician Souls, uh, and then I'll take out one Cerberus. It could potentially brick you if you don't have enough. Maybe one Magister and maybe one Reflection. So that's these are cards that are absolutely mandatory. So that leads you to adding these six. So I take out these six for these six going second specifically against drytron now what do you do going first so this is what you put these in going second and that's that's the list for going second mainly you hope you open a draw droll or dark ruler because these are the, probably the only cards in Yu-Gi-Oh right now that hard auto win drytron single-handedly by just drawing it and those are the only one so the best thing to do would be draw into all of these cards via all your draw cards and if your opponent does uh negates the desires with the hero link then you have your mystic minds as well you also have the abductor to search the eccentric to force the hero link and then you mystic mind them so these are probably the best stuff you could possibly do in this scenario uh now for going first obviously you don't want dark ruler going first obviously you don't want mystic mind going first droll and lockbird however is fantastic going first against drytron so i'm gonna fix quickly fix the list as it looked in the very beginning and again, you guys are going to have to know this off by heart. I know my siding patterns off by heart against Drytron very quickly. And I even change my deck on the fly all the time. You must know it and you should be able to side in and out of your deck in like two seconds. Okay, it's very important. And then for those that are just tuning in now that just randomly scrolled up, the uh, cards that are, are backwards are Magician Souls. Now going first. So going first, you do not want to get drolled yourself. So you, the Instant Fusion and Called By in your side deck are going to be your best friends. As well as Secret Villages and drolls now this is you don't want to side in six cards going first you want to make sure that you could actually do your combo so siding in all this going first is kind of redundant because uh in order to stop your opponent from playing hand traps so let's say you play gamma you could play three gamma called by instant fusion driver those are six cards to stop hand traps and you're going to end up opening three of them and then stop yourself but just by attempting to stop hand traps so you can't play too many cards like that so these two are good enough because called by you could also use as, a, as an interruption against them uh, if you don't be, aren't able to combo, which obviously you will, I don't recommend two secret villages against them. What I do recommend is the absolute must of is one droll and lockbird and one called by. If you don't get drolled, you auto win, and if you could droll them, you auto win. Droll is searchable via magical abductor, via servant of endymion, via spell power mastery, via mythical institution, for the specific reasoning that all of these cards special magical abductor, institution search abductor, uh, abduct reflection special abductor. Normal Abductor, Servant Effect, Special Abductor, Mastery Effect, Search Servant, Servant Effect, Special Abductor, Abductor Effect, Add Droll and Lockbird from your deck. So the whole strategy here is that Abductor, this is the same reason why I don't like playing Pendulums on, if you guys just saw the video I posted of the stream, where I played Elish Zodiac on a stream, local stream, live on stream, and I didn't want to play Pendulums because I don't own Magician Souls. Why? Because I just do that play that I explained right there by searching the Magical Abductor with half my deck, to search souls going first you side one droll and you search the droll and you auto kill drytron so these are the two cards i put in 
Uh, what you really could do as well is you could put in one secret village. I believe that's a good call. And two more draws. Because the thing with Drytron is one draw kills them. So even if you can't combo, just draw them one by one and you kill them. So I decide to use five going first against Drytron. What do I take out? I take out two Citadels because the only people probably care about Secret Village. I take out one into the Void because you don't want to discard your hand traps. So now you're left with two cards. Arshina Centric does nothing against that deck going, well, you're going first. This is four cards. At this point, I'd always keep in double Blue Boy, double Secrets in case they herald the Blue Boy, you could get another one. So at this point, you have to make a, meta, a, a decision, a conscious decision yourself what you want to take out. I would probably take out one Cerberus just in case I draw too many of them or uh, I, I want to be able to play. So I think of these five for these five and kill them. So that's for Drytron going first. If I'm talking too fast here, this is a shit ton of information for you guys. Then oh, I don't know what to say. How about you reverse, just rewind and watch again. Or go on Patreon because Patreon best deck. Let's go. So now I'm going to show you guys how to play against. That's the main concern playing around Vanity Ruler and Drytron. And if you decide properly, you could destroy it. Now I'm going to talk about the next biggest issue with this deck, which is VFD. If you don't prepare your deck properly to defeat VFD, you're, you're gonna lose. You're simply gonna lose. There's the same reason why we're main decking Archfina Centric. So against uh, Virtual World and VFD, you have eight ways into MST. You have Abductor to search Archfina Centric. You have Mythical Beast Cerberus to search Garuda to pop. And you also have Institution that searches an MST on its own. So you have actually 11 ways into an MST. So the game plan against Virtual World is to MST the trap card Chuchi and then you use your best friend, Mighty Master, the boss of the deck, to blow up their entire field because you have so many... Look at me, cards, cold counters for this deck. So in a format that has VFD all over the place, you want to have as many cards as possible that hold spell counters that destroy VFD that's not named Celine because you won't be able to hold spell counters in the Celine. So look how many we have here to stop it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22... 23, 23 cards that hold spell counters and 12 draw cards. 35 cards that hold spell counters. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, the whole deck holds spell counters except for three Mighty Master, one Institution, and one Archfiend Eccentric. If it doesn't hold spell counters, it draws into spell counters. So the whole strategy here, and you have like 20,000 ways into a Mighty Master, is with your 13 ways into MST, you pop the Chuchi, and then you Mighty Master blow up everything. I built this deck mainly to destroy VFD because I think that most locals uh, have a lot of virtual world, so this kills that. So, how do you side deck a deck that's already built to defeat the deck in the main deck? Well, more MSTs. <laughs> jaw jaw. Two Cosmic Cyclones, you could put these in. Now, you don't, you're don't. you not forced to search a Garuda or forced to search an Eccentric. The Cerberus can now special out a Jackal to hold spell counters to freely make Mighty Master resolve. The Abductor can now search the Mighty Master as another way for Mighty Master to resolve. And you just use more MSTs to pop the Chuchi so that you don't need to waste your deck to search the MSTs. Because the MST could search, instead of searching the MST, you could use a Mighty Master. So I play two Cosmics against this deck when I'm going second. And uh, that is all I do against that deck. And that's it. The deck is already built to destroy all these meta decks like that. Uh, what I do take out for them is cards that are redundant to my strategy. So if he has VFD, I now know that my Blue Boy and my Secrets and my Souls aren't as powerful. So what I would do is I would take out one Blue Boy and one Magician Souls. I'll leave Secrets and Knowledge. For the mere factor of they're still draw cards. They're still going to draw you two cards. Blue Boy doesn't do anything for you. Because if you normal summon it, it's dead. But you still want to keep in the one Blue Boy in the deck. In the situation where they do brick a lot. And you could Crowley. And also for turn two. You're not going to put up like 10,000 negates. And you're not going to waste your Crowley on turn one. So you're going to have something like a Mighty Master. Maybe a Vortex. Because they're not going to call water. They're called Dark. And like a Jackal, that's going to stop them. And then some the next turn, but maybe you only have like one of them. You want to be able to have access to Crowley on turn two uh, of your of your duel. So keep one blue boy. So that, this is what I do. And the Magician Souls is dead. Again, the proxy, the backward cards of Magician Souls. Always keep it one Magician Souls as well. Because there's going to be a lot of time for the same purpose. In turn two, you want to be able to search the one of Magician Souls. These two are searchable. So I'll just take that out for this. Two Cosmic for one blue boy and one Magician Souls. Going first now is a different story. You want to have as many blue boys, draw cards, all that as possible. So obviously you don't want to play Cosmic going first. I would be putting in one called by the grave. Uh, I'd also be putting in, this is your own decision, but I like two secret villages against them. The reason being is that they can't Kowloon. They can't use, they don't have spellcasters in their deck. No one's playing Valor. They can't normal summon a random spellcaster. They don't have any. So if you go secret village uh, and Jackal, that's literally an FTK against them. They can't Kowloon. 
They can't uh, go uh, virtual world, sp uh, Ching Long to negate one of your monster negates. They literally can't do fuck all. So Secret Village is actually an MVP against that deck. And not just for the sake of stopping the Dark Ruler, which they're probably not even playing, but it literally just stops their entire deck. They can't Desires, they can't Talents. You could literally, like, their, their deck just does nothing. Uh, all you need is one uh, Secret Village and one Jackal, and you kill Virtual World completely. You just go Secret Village Jackal, uh, they can't negate the Jackal. What are they going to do? They're going to normal summon a card, Jaw Jaw, no problem. You could actually go Secret Village and have zero negates and still kill them. If you Secret Village and end on Selene Pass, Normal Summon, Selene Reflection to bounce the Normal Summon, they're going to pass their turn. Because once you stop the Normal Summon with Secret Village in the field, it's an auto win. So what do I do for this matchup? Going first, I take out two Citadels for two Secret Villages. And then, because I'm going first, I'll take out the Archfiend Eccentric for the Called by the Grave. Archfiend Eccentric is specifically a Go Second card. So I would put that in. And one cool thing about Archfiend Eccentric as well, sometimes your scales are clogged, you could pop this itself on the scale. And then you could put two new scales down. This is something I want to mention that is overlooked with this card. It does help out, actually. But anyways, yeah. Going first, I'll take out the Eccentric for one called by the Grave. To make you sure you're called by Ennis Infusion to stop their Droll. And if they don't have Droll, they're, they're going to die. So that's what we do against VFD. Now, what do we do against Trap Decks, okay? I know this is a pretty long video, but there's definitely a lot of to be talked about for this. If you guys want to see more siding patterns and, and duels where I side deck and stuff, Check out Patreon where I'm going to show some replays of me siding against us uh, meta decks and stuff and obviously killing them. So go check it out. Now, what do we do against trap decks? Our deck is already made to destroy trap decks simply because it's made to destroy VFD. So since it destroyed the, uh, the Truchi, sorry, not VFD. Since it destroyed the, the made to destroy Truchi, now we're prepared for Eldritch because we have eight built-in MSTs with Institution also searching MSTs via Garuda or via Abductor to search Eccentric. Uh, so you now have like 11 MSTs built in your deck. So you absolutely fucking destroy Eldritch. Like I can't stress it enough. Uh, they have no out to, when well, they have a, a, a Eldritch on the field, you just summon Cerberus. Cerberus banish Eldritch. What are they going to do to Mighty Master of the Tolkien? They literally can't do anything. Anyways, and now what do you do against El Eldritch? So you already have eight MSTs built in. Going first, all you do again, uh, Trap decks cannot play Drill and Lockbird. So you're not scared of Called By anymore. Don't put in Called By. You're not scared of Hand Traps at all. The only way you're going to lose against trap decks going second is if they play stuff like Dark Ruler, which just makes no sense because they can't do anything. So like I said, you literally don't need to side against them. This is your decision completely if you want to play the Secret Villages because they could potentially brick you. I'd probably take out one Citadel for one village. And if it's a deck like Eldritch, I'd probably put in the Called by the Grave as well. Uh, simply because, so against all trap decks, not just Eldritch, but I'd put in one Secret Village and one Citadel. Uh, like... Um, you just you don't want to brick on too many against decks that Village doesn't do much against. But I would play the Called By the Grave only against decks that Called By itself hurts. Because there's a high chance they're not playing Hand Traps. So if you play one Called By the Grave, uh, you could even if you don't need to use it, you could activate the Called By the Grave on like a Golden Lord and it'll fucking destroy them. Uh, what I would take out for the Called By the Grave going first. I would never side out the Archfiend Eccentric going first against Trap decks. It's great to have in your deck. I'd probably remove a card that I feel I could brick on. Which could be eccentric, but could also be Cerberus. I'd probably take out a Cerberus or an eccentric, whatever you feel like. For this sake, I'll take out a Cerberus. Sometimes you do hard lose to just drawing too many dead cards. At the same time, it's a deck like Eldritch that like Cerberus destroys. Going first, I could take out the eccentric because they're not doing anything to seven negates. Uh, that's against trap decks. Going second against trap decks is a whole different story because now you have to deal with a bunch of uh, trap interruptions. Which you already have 11 built-in ways to destroy trap cards. But for argument's sake, what do I put in against them? Is just the two Cosmics, the one Reboot, and the one Dino Wrestler against trap decks. Obviously, you have the Feather Duster. Not obviously, because, you know, you can't chain it to an anti-spell and stuff like that. But trap decks, you're just definitely scared of anti-spell. You have four ways to stop it. And if you could stop the anti-spell and floodgates that you really care about, they have goes in reboot. Or sorry, they have goes in or rivalry or shit like that. You have eleven MSTs, you could destroy it. Doesn't matter. But if you if they have anti-spell, you die. So you just play these four for anti-spell against them, and they all hard kill it. Uh, and in, in terms of what you would take out, uh, you want to have as many scales as possible against these uh, against these decks because it's a very slow duel. I'd take out one blue boy. I take out one's magician souls. These cards are probably never resolving. One secrets. I'd always keep Crowley in no matter what. And one Citadel. Citadel is great to have just to sit there. I might even take out the Terraforming just in case because it could be a long duel and I could potentially draw into the dead one. So I'd put it in for these four. Now against Zodiac, which is another deck that you guys need to 
respect a lot simply because of Zeus. Uh, even if you have a five negate board, six negate board, they don't care about spell negates, so they could just normal summon uh, Zodiac, Thoroughblade, uh, XYZ climb with six material Zeus and just destroy your whole board. So it's one thing to keep in mind. This, this is why you play a huge Magister and Reflection count. Uh, I said in the past, Magister uh, Bricks, the specific reason being is that it needs another card to be good. It's not good on its own. Cards like that tend to brick over a long tournament. So against the, uh, again, but it's another reason you're playing it is because you now have Magister to search Reflection on the opponent's turn and Reflection kills Zodiac. All you got to do to kill Zodiac is kill their normal summon. So that's why we have Reflection and Magister and we have Garuda as well, which is another reason I'm playing Mythical Beast to destroy Zodiac. So the deck is already built to destroy it. We have the IP Masquerade and Unicorn in the extra deck. So the main deck is already built to destroy Zodiac, both going first and going second. And in terms of going second, uh, some interesting cards you could play against them would be the one Dino Wrestler, Hard Auto kills them. I would play a red reboot because if they end on if they end on Dryden and pass. Actually, I would not play reboot because there's a chance that some of their sets could be Feather Duster. I'd play a, I, I'm sorry, Cosmic Cyclone. So I'd play a Feather Duster, but not a reboot. And honestly, the only thing I'd play would be one Dino Wrestler. You have cards to stop the Dryden, but you literally don't give a fuck. You don't care about Dryden. What are you gonna do? Side deck a Mystic Mind or Dark Ruler specifically for one Dryden? What's the point in that? They could literally let the Mystic Mind go. They don't care about that. Whenever you have enough monsters, then they'll Mystic Mind. Your Dryden pop your card. And Mystic Mind will stay on the field. Why would your Dark Ruler to stop one little teensy peensy interruption in Dryden uh, to stop you from OTKing them when they're just going to Dryden one card in your hand? This card could have been a random Mighty Master that they're going to Dryden. This card could have been a Desire. This card could have been a Jackal. This card could have been a Magister. They'll Dryden it anyways. Dino Wrestler, however, exchanges itself for two cards. Dark Ruler exchanges itself for one card. So I would play Dino Wrestler. Uh, if you know he's playing Zoo Elich, I would put in Double Cosmic and Reboot with the Dino Wrestler. Zoo Elich, I'll put these four in. All right. Now, in terms of what I would take out for the Zodiac, by the way, if you're just putting in the one Dino Wrestler, I would make a conscious decision here not to put in Spell Trap Removal because you already have 11 in the main deck via Abductor. I would probably take out something I think could lose to a Dryden or something that hurt, gets hurt by a Dryden. It's just a one int of interruption. Like, honestly... Even if that's the case, who gives a shit? If he pops your Cerberus, you have Institution to hold counters on. Citadel will just get the counters. Like, it's cool. It's fine. I'd probably take out a Blue Boy. Because they they don't play Valor or Imperm or Fog Blade. So there's a high chance that if they hand trap the Blue... If you normal Blue Boy, your Blue Boy will resolve. Uh, if they Droplets the Blue Boy, they're just idiots. So if they play Droplets. So you're fine. I'd probably take it up for a Blue Boy. Those are the four main decks. Now I'm going to talk about Dino. And after that, I'm just going to discuss random rogue decks. And then that'll wrap up the video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Videos like this do take a lot of time. I have to write out all the meta decks, exactly uh, what the siding patterns are, what are good. I have to create a secondary uh, alternative. So they do take a long time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. But we'll continue on with the last one here being Dino. So with Dino, you have lots of options. They're going to be making you go first a lot of the time. So what I would recommend is you put in a bunch of st ways to stop the hand traps and potential ways they get out your board with spell cards. Uh, Village absolutely obliterates them. They cannot use their Lost World. They cannot use Fossil Dig. They cannot use uh, random other spells that they play in their deck to help stop you. You now have these to destroy them. So I recommend playing these when you're going first. I don't even recommend side decking going second against them because you don't know if they're going to make you go first or second. I think that a, a good Dino player will make a Pendulum player go second uh, strictly for the reason that Pendulums put up seven negates. Dinos cannot deal with seven negates when that Misk is never resolving. So I think this is the best strategy for them. I'd always play these against Dino going first or going second. If I have the sudden like question, I don't know if I'm going first or second. I might play one mine over one of the villages, and that's it. If you know for a fact he's going second, which in fact, if I'm facing Dino, I might make. I think the best play, the best player pendulum is to make him go first. If you make him go first, your side deck better be prepared to destroy it because they're still going to put up a Dolka a conductor, potential cosmic cyclone, potential ash. It's still like four interruptions. So what I recommend doing is to if post side deck make him go first. And put in double Mystic Mind and triple Dark Ruler. And I would cards to take out would be cards that cannot be negated via Dolka. So what I would recommend, I'll take out one Blue Boy, I'll take out one Magician Souls and one Secrets. Now all you need to do is take out two more cards and I'll take out the two Citadels. It's a perfect five. Against Dino, make them go first. 
you're playing six auto hard win if you hard draw any of them against dino and the rest of the, if you don't draw any of these that means you're drawing some broken ass pendulum draw cards and broken ass servant of endymion and mighty master you just took out the weakest cards of your deck to put in six of the most powerful cards in your deck against them going second do you guys get that logic and the fact that pendulum could draw a sixth card against them is even crazier so that's a, the idea for, for dinos that's the video guys hope you guys enjoy it against rogue the rest of the deck deals with all rogue this is more than enough because you already have 11 built-in ways for MST. So this is like 15 ways to pop back row for Rogue Trap decks. Mystic Mind and Dark Ruler destroys ro random Rogue. That's why I like Mystic Mind in it as well. It destroys so many Rogue decks. And if you look at the rest of the thing, you all, always going first. You put in the Village and called by in any like variant that you need be. Then that's most of the, like the, the side deck is really, you could use, this is the whole side deck you use for almost every matchup and almost every meta. The only thing that you have specific for any one deck is the Droll and Lockbird, which is util utilizable against specifically Drytron, but also any random hard combo deck that uh, out in the meta, let's say you face Mirror, you could face D Dragon Link, this could potentially stop them because they won't be expecting it maybe. I'm sure they would if they're good, but the whole idea is that the whole side deck hits every single deck. And if you're playing online tournaments, you're going to be dealing with a bunch of rogue decks because it's online tournaments. People might not own some out of the random meta decks. So it's good to have 12. You have 12 cards in your side deck you can put in for a, basically every matchup in Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a lot of effort to do, so make sure to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. Smash the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.